Good morning. Good morning. Thank all of you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. My name is Gary Dudley. I'm co-owner of SWBC along with my partner, Charlie Amato. Uh, over the years, SWBC has supported many charities and causes. Uh, we feel like this is our moral obligation and a duty for us to give back to the community in which we live and the community in, in which we work. Uh, today, uh, I find myself asking you for some support. And uh, uh, we need to inform you about a disease that struck, that has struck painfully close to home. Uh, this deadly disease affects over 170 million people worldwide, approximately 4 million people in the United States, and over 1,000 people each day die of this disease. The deadly disease I'm referring to is hepatitis C. Uh, and my wife, Margaret, was diagnosed in September of 2011 to have this disease. We're here today to tell you about a cure uh, that we feel is in range for us in order to get it not only for Margaret but for the millions of others as well. Uh, we formed the HCV Coalition for the Cure uh, this last year uh, for that purpose. Now I'd like to introduce my wife, Margaret, and let her tell you a little bit about it. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. I am Margaret, I'm Gary's wife, and I do have hepatitis C. But today I'm here representing four million Americans that also have this disease. Back when I was diagnosed in 2011, it changed our whole lives. It didn't take long for us to learn just what we were up against. Not only did we find out that this disease affects over four million Americans, it is also the number one reason for liver transplants. And it also now kills more people than AIDS does. And as you can imagine, we researched everything we could to learn about what treatment was out there for this disease. What we found was that the only current treatment, approved treatment, consists of toxic drugs which have brutal, long-term, debilitating side effects some of which can even be permanent, and they are only effective about 50% of the time. But then Bristol-Myers Squibb and Gilead Sciences came along. These two companies combined two drugs together, their two drugs, and they were able to cure 100% of the most prevalent types of hepatitis C without the toxic side effects of current treatment. But despite this miraculous development, shortly after these results were released, Gilead Sciences announced they would not proceed with the further trials necessary to get this cure to the market in the quickest manner possible. We, along with many leading doctors and researchers, feel that Gilead Sciences has a moral responsibility to work together to put an end to this epidemic disease. This is no different than if it were the cure for cancer. The nation would be outraged. And I know that they and you will be outraged by this as well, now that you know a cure for this disease exists. To help in this effort, we've also enlisted the support of the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. And I'd like to introduce Timothy Boyd, who will tell you more about why they have joined us in this important and urgent matter. Hi, I'm Tim Boyd, the Director of Domestic Policy for the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Uh, AHF is the nation's largest AIDS nonprofit. Uh, it provides care to over 200,000 people uh, with HIV in 27 countries worldwide. Um, in the United States, AHF operates healthcare centers in several cities, including two recent centers uh, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. AHF strongly supports the HIV HCV Coalition for the Cure and its mission, and we strongly endorse uh, Margaret's petition to the White House to urge collaboration on a cure for HCV. Uh, with over with 30 percent of people with HIV co-infected with hepatitis C, this cure and, and Margaret's campaign has, is a potential game changer 
for hep C and certainly for those people co-infected with hep C and HIV. Uh, when Margaret first came to AHF uh, looking for our support in her campaign, we were struck and inspired by her personal story and her dedication to this issue. We were also disappointed to see that Gilead was blocking a cure for HCV. Uh, we were disappointed, but we were not surprised. For several years now, AHF has led a campaign uh, to get Gilead to lower its prices for AIDS drugs. Uh, just this year, Gilead increased the price on several of its AIDS drugs by 6%. And its newest drug, Strybil, is priced at $28,500 per person per year, making it the most expensive HIV drug in the market and 30% more expensive than the drugs it's replacing. Uh, this is not only an unsustainable policy that will affect lives, but it, we feel it's backwards public health policy. Taxpayer finance programs such as Medicaid, Medicare, and the AIDS Drug Assistance Program account for the, excuse me, the vast majority of Gilead's revenues, and taxpayer finance research support uh, helps bring new HCV, HCV treatments and HIV treatments to the market. Um, despite all this, Gilead is able to charge taxpayer programs whatever it wants, and it is able to uh, ignore clear research showing that a cure for HCV is a possibility. Um, so again, this is a policy that has to change, and we believe that change starts with Margaret's petition and her campaign, and we're, again, we are glad to support it and partner with her on it. Thank you, and now I'm uh, happy to introduce uh, Councilwoman uh, Chan. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Elisa Chan and I serve as San Antonio City Council. I'm so very pleased to be here this morning to show support for the HCV Coalition for the Cure in its efforts in fighting hepatitis C disease. I wanted to take this opportunity to thank and commend uh, Margaret and also leaders of the coalition and certainly Gary for bringing and raising the awareness for people in engaging public in finding the cure. As you have heard earlier, uh, more people are right now are dying from hepatitis C. And also, we know that the leading cause for liver tr uh, transplantation from the United States is due to the hepatitis C disease. We also know that liver cancer due to hepatitis C is the most rapidly increasing cause for cancer death in USA. So it is so important that we need to all work together to find the cure. And we have so much to do and so much we can accomplish if we can work together. So again, I want and I would like to ask all of you to help this cause as I am. So thank you again, Margaret, for your leadership. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're very happy to be here to support this worthy cause that uh, HCV, the cause of eradicating and controlling and eliminating HCV. Uh, I'm Tommy Atkinson. I am one of the five members that sit on Commissioner's Court, which was established here in 1836, right during the battle, at, right after the Battle of the Alamo, and all the other great fights that went on. This uh, is another worthy fight, Gary. Margaret, and Bear County knows how to fight. In my opinion, we delivered us to the state of Texas and the Union and uh, paid the price. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears going on in this county that some people may have no appreciation for, but I'll guarantee you when they start fighting with the likes of Gary Dudley and Charlie Amato and Bear County, they got a fight on their hands. And I know that Congressman Lloyd Doggett joins me, and uh, as will other congressmen, to make sure that we take this measure of prevention. Prevention is the greatest money savings that we have in the healthcare world. And uh, your county hospital runs the university health system. That's about a billion dollars a year enterprise. And we intend to make sure that every ounce of strength and weight that we can deliver to this process, Gary and Margaret, will be delivered, not just on your behalf, but on behalf of those many other voiceless people who you represent that need help, they need to be heard, and by golly, they will be heard. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Mark Rana, and I'm here representing Congressman Lloyd Doggett. 
Uh, I'm a field representative, and I work here in his San Antonio district office, which we had open on January 3rd. Uh, he has some very brief remarks, which I got from him this morning. He says, I am fully supportive of your efforts to shed light on this important life-saving issue by trying to force the drug companies to do the right thing and place people before profits. In fact, today, I am adding my name to your petition and stand ready to assist. Thank you so much, Margaret, for your leadership. Good morning. Like many of you, I have a friend who suffers from hepatitis C, and I want to give thanks to all those who have addressed us, addressed us thus far, and I would like to close by quoting Dr. Paul Tuluvath of the Mercy Medical Center, who had six patients who were cured from this treatment that Gilead and Bristol-Myers Squibb created. Quote, we never imagined in our wildest dreams we could treat hepatitis C so quickly, effectively, and without serious side effects. I think the pharmaceutical companies have a moral responsibility to work together and bring it to market instead of following their own vested interests." Close quote. Now we are asking for everyone to join forces with us to petition the, the President Barack Obama administration to have the FDA investigate this urgent matter. Beginning today, February 19, 2013, we have 30 days, 30 days to get 100,000 signatures so that it could be sent to the experts at the White House so that they can ensure it is sent to the appropriate, appropriate policy experts and that an official response will be issued. Please visit hepc-cure.org to find the link to this website, to this White House petition. Additionally, we please ask that you invite your friends and your families to do the same. Your signature can save millions of lives. Thank you.